does the S21 Ultra having an S Pen mean the end of the Note series? That's something that's been going about quite a bit. And as soon as we started hearing these rumors, people were straight up there saying, oh, is the Note gonna die? What do you think, E? I've told you this many times. I think it's it's bye-bye for the Note. Um, but I don't think it's going to be a classic, you know, cut and run mm. type of thing. I think we're going to have a Note 21 this year. I think that's actually very succinct. But I think it's not the inclusion of the S Pen in the Galaxy S21 series, though, the S21 Ultra, that signifies the end. It's the rumors that we're hearing of the Z Fold 3 that having, S, having that S Pen included. I think mm. that's where we're going to see the true shift. Uh, I think they, having the S Pen here gives that flexibility that you know, Samsung, I probably always, always wanted to introduce this for a while with the mm. S series, but now that they can do it, especially with more stylish cases and ways to ensure that your S Pen doesn't get lost, right? Mm. Uh, especially since it's not docked into your device. I think 2022, we will not have a note. 21 is the last year, AKA, well, if you're from America or you live in America, you know, now you can drink, so which means the Note 21 is a big boy and can <laughs> move on and live a glorious life on its own. <laughs> well, see, that's that's interesting. I, I, uh, I agree with you to a certain extent, but the one thing I want to say is like, I personally, well, the fact that the S21 Ultra doesn't come with the S Pen included tells me that it's not the end of the Note series as yet, right? So I agree with you that there is going to be uh, pretty much certainly a Note um, 21, right? Mm -hmm. I still think there's going to be a Note 22 because um, I, I agree with you that the Fold 3 uh, potentially having the S Pen support will mean uh, that Samsung is potentially trying to evolve the Note series into um, the Fold, right? The and fold. bringing yeah. that over, right? Which is, which is all well and good, but I still feel that... Um, the note still has a place and especially a very strong fan base. So I think it will be at least another year, especially considering the pricing of foldables right now. I think they're still too high and to be able to bring that down um, because yeah, note users like bigger displays. That's what they've always liked. And having that on the, um, uh, uh, you, know, you know, having an S Pen on a foldable kind of is that natural evolution, shall we say. But I still think we're gonna be um, at least another year off. Wouldn't you, okay, I want to ask you this idea because I, I, I thought this was something Samsung was going to do with the Z Fold, and I think mm -hmm. they still might. Wouldn't it be better for Samsung to have, uh, say, in 2022, not 2021, 2022, we have the Galaxy Note 20, or, sorry, Note 22, and the Note mm -hmm. 22 is a slab-like phone, like we know, with an S Pen, mm -hmm. and then the Note 22 Ultra, or Super Ultra, whatever we want to call it, is yeah. basically the Z Fold 4. That's hmm. just what it is. Because that's, to me, that's the true extension of a Note. That's you taking it to the ultimate level of what the Note can be. That, I think, would be an interesting way to continue the Note line because then, you know, they, yeah, even with affordable, there's some people who still want a traditional-looking phone as a hmm. Note user. Like, you know what? Nah, that's really not for me. So you can keep that there, and then you can go, well, if you really want to take the Note to the next level... There yeah, it has a foldable. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to wait and see. I hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to hear the full podcast episode, then that will be linked down below. And if you want to see more clips like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf Speaks, and I'll see you next time.